Yeah, your it kids must. are quite competitive. Yeah, they, yeah, they are. And it, kind of from a mummy position, it makes me quite sad because I suppose when I had two girls, I thought I had these rosy images of them being their best friends, and you know they would confide in each other and they would be dressing each other up, and, so, and they are very well. You know, they are very competitive, and you know, one of them thinks, uh, well, Charlie thinks that the wee one has got the kind of cheeky smile and the blonde hair and and the looks she thinks mm. and then the wee one thinks that the big one is clever and sort of in charge and all the rest of it and they do get a but bit you do kind encourage of... that competitiveness Kate. no i don't think but you so do, you do the other <laughs> no. day the other day i mean bonnie is is small and four years younger than than charlie and charlie does 15 hours of gymnastics a week he's about six foot two and 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 I charlie was saying to bonnie go on you go you go 10 feet and then we'll have this race and i thought well, there's no way that bonnie's even with 20 feet ahead she's gonna yeah. win this race and Kay was going <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then charlie shoots off and we all know she's gonna beat Bonnie. and you were you were rubbing your hands together yeah. i was not it was a bit <laughs> sick hmm. <laughs> well, you never know in 10 years i might be standing at the triathlon <laughs> <laughs> but being a mom, encourage competitiveness between kids, yeah. we'll get it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't always have to encourage it. It can just happen to And you. what's interesting, actually, is all our kids are the same age, aren't they? Yeah. 14, 14 and 9. That gap. 